Hello, it's time for the Aramaic of the Week. We are in the middle of the interpretation of the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. And we learned in Daniel 2.38 that the head is the Babylonian Empire. Nebuchadnezzar is the head of this image. And what the vision that Nebuchadnezzar has seen is a vision of four empires. And um, most scholars think that these empires are um, the gold is the Babylonian Empire, which is the head, then the Medes, which is the shoulders and torso, then the, um, the Persians, which is the belly uh, and, and lower, and then the, the mixed feet are the Ptolemaic and Seleucid divided kingdom of the Greeks. That's what most scholars um, would, would say is the interpretation of this dream, which would locate, um, would locate the... the um, kind of the, the locus of Daniel's concern um, is the early 200, 100s BC. That's about where the prophecies of, of Daniel are located in terms of what they're primarily uh, focused on, that period of the um, Maccabean period, as it were, in the 100s BC, seems to be the focus of the prophecies in, in the book of Daniel. So, um, this verse is uh, the the kind of middle part of the of the image. So we start now with the arms and torso. Um, Uvat rak takum malku akari. And now uh, this uh, this is a kathiv kare in a way. Um, the consonants are in the right place, so it's not exactly a kathiv kare, but the the vowels aren't quite right in some manuscripts. The vowels are like uh, ara, uh, but it should be ara ah. Anyway, so um, the Blue Letter Bible, which is where I copied this, just doesn't have any vowels. Um, we're we're going to see the same form later in the verse where all the vowels are there, and there I believe it's ara ah, um, which is earth. But anyway, and then minak. So and in your place, so after Babylon, after Nebuchadnezzar, um, U is and, it's U because of the bump letter, B, um, um, and then K is your, uh, and then I think this is Atar, but the Aleph has gone fishing for some reason. It's popped out like a pimple. Anyway, but, um, and in your place, after you, uh, Takum will rise, Malku, a kingdom. A kingdom will rise. That is, Akari, another kingdom will rise. And in your place, another kingdom will rise. And um, so there, there you have it. Um, Takum is, Kum is uh, also in Hebrew for rise. And the Tav is the second masculine singular, uh, also like, like Hebrew. So it will rise. Another kingdom will rise. Malku is very similar to Hebrew. Hebrew in Hebrew, it's Malkut. It's a feminine singular form, um, but the, no tav on the Aramaic version here. Um, it's like it's 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 lost its wheels. But anyway, and in your place, another kingdom will rise. Uh, now this is an interesting expression. Ara minak. The earth to you is beneath your feet, is beneath you, under your feet, less than you. And this is generally thought to be the Medes uh, after the um, uh, Babylonians. So uh, the Kamatz Aleph is the, and then Ara is uh, earth. In Hebrew, of course, it's Eretz uh, with a tzade instead of an ayin. This is one of the, there are a number of consonantal uh, shifts between Aramaic and Hebrew, and this is one of them. Hebrew has the, the tzade, and, and Aramaic here has the ayin. Anyway, um, minak is very much like Hebrew. Min is, is from in Hebrew and in Aramaic. Now, uh, I've said before that in Hebrew, the second masculine singular is ka with a kamatz, in, and uh, kaf with a silent schwa in Hebrew is usually the feminine your. But anyway, it's the masculine, apparently, in Aramaic, from you. Um, so, and in your place, another kingdom will rise. It's the earth from you. Um, okay, and that's the Medes. Uh, Umalku, 
Uh, now here's another Kathib Kare. The, the consonants are in the wrong place uh, in the manuscript. Uh, it should be uh, Ayan, I'm mean, sorry, it should be Aleph Hay instead of Yod Aleph. And so they just, it's kind of like the Masrit said, okay, we want to we want to reverence the text. We're going to leave the letters here, but we're going to say it differently. Um, and so it, it's pronounced properly, uh, Teli Ta'a, Teli Ta'a, when with the right consonants. Uh, in Hebrew, the word for third, this is and a third kingdom, is um, Shili Shi. Um, interesting. Thili Thi is what it is in Aramaic. So you got a little, again, uh, Barcelona instead of Barcelona. Um, uh, it's a similar kind of consonantal shift between the Tav in um, Aramaic and Sheen in Hebrew. But anyway, this is uh, another third kingdom and another third kingdom um so and another kingdom and another one down and another one down another kingdom bites the dust anyway so this is the means this is the persian here and another third kingdom will rise uh of the bronze all right and a kingdom another third of bronze again d sometimes i mean i haven't quite figured d out but there are a number of places where in English, it just of is the best way to translate it. A kingdom that of bronze, you know, is maybe that's what it's saying. Um, have I pronounced all this? Uh, Akari D Na Kasha um, D uh, Tishlat Bakol R A. So there, you, there we see what it should look like. R, not R A A, but R A. Uh, that's what that should have been up there. Okay, so another third kingdom will rise, that of bronze, that of the bronze. Um, so Nakasha, the, Kamatz Aleph is the, and then Nakash, na, Nakash is the bronze. Uh, that, um, Tishlat, it will rule. Shalat being rule, and then again, Tav, like here, is second masculine singular. It will rule over all the land. Um, and I, I put over all the land instead of all the earth. When I read over all the earth, I immediately think of a globe. But that's not what they thought of, of course. They didn't. They thought the earth was flat. So they they over all the land. So this is not including China, you know, or, or you know, Azerbaijan. This is basic. Although that might have been uh, anyway. Never mind. The Persians may have. I don't know the geography there. But that's not important right now. So the 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 Persians. This is the Persian Empire. It will rule after the means. All right, so we're getting close to the end of this interpretation. Um, so I think we'll get um, to the um, the the um, Greek Hellenistic Empire, the divided Hellenistic Empire in uh, Daniel two forty next week, Lord willing, on the Aramaic of the week.